Cape Cod and uh, looking forward to being down here for a few days. I get some work done up on the boat and uh, and uh, as I mentioned in my last video, we we're down here for my dad's 92nd birthday. But anyway, let's uh, let's go take a, a look at little girl and uh, see how the the covering uh, stayed or didn't stay in place to uh, keep the water out. I have been so chomping at the bit to get back down here. We have been gone. It's got to be at least a month. At least a month this time. Well, that's perfect. Only about 20 layers of pollen up there on the up on the roof, up on the tarp. And it did it. It's it may have a little rain in there, but it ain't much. We're good. That's all rain down there. But anyway. All right. Very good. Very good. So here's what's going on. Uh, uh, I'm going to be up at uh, West Marine first thing tomorrow morning. I've talk, talked everything over with my brother. And I'm going to be uh, seeing if they will take back my full gallon, untouched, unopened, full gallon of polyester resin. And the, heart, and the uh, liquid hardener that goes with it. Uh, because uh, he has already has on hand uh, some epoxy resin that from work that he's been doing on his uh, 28 foot motor cruiser and so forth and uh, he's willing to jump in financially uh, that if we go ahead and, and buy in together uh, instead of using polyester resin on the foredeck we'll use um, we'll use regular epoxy resin I did some research and the research is this that uh, polyester resin uh, is a fine thing, it works just fine, but strength-wise, it does not have the same kind of strength that epoxy resin does. When you uh, use epoxy resin, it is four to five times harder, stronger than polyester resin. Now, I know this is probably gonna be disputes over all this, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna get into that, but suffice it to say, uh, the other thing I found out is you don't ever want to put polyester over epoxy resin, which w I wouldn't be doing anyway. But you, but when you put epoxy over polyester resin, you've got yourself a, a one whale of a bond. And, uh, and it, it has a tremendous amount of strength to it. Like I say, four to five times the strength uh, that regular polyester resin will uh, in the, when you're, you know, using that. Anyway. Uh, so we're going to take a look and see if um, West Marine up here is going to be willing to, to take the trade in. Uh, they usually limit it to 30 days. I know it's been over 30 days since I bought that stuff. But uh, we'll see. I mean, if they'll, if they'll do the trade, uh, we're going to go all West Systems because he's already got some, uh, some of it. And we'll just kind of go for the full bore and use West Systems uh, epoxy resin on the foredeck. Deal. I went into... Uh, West Marine up there. Marcel, uh, whom I've known since he was a little kid, uh, was at the counter. He's the manager there now. And uh, without even without even blinking, he said, absolutely, no problem. <laughs> so anyway, I was able to trade in the Boatyard uh, polyester resin. I uh, picked up a brand new uh, gallon of West Marine 105, uh, a, a quart of the 206 uh, slow hardener, and uh and a mixing cup and we're good to go so anyway and my particular thanks to marcel the manager up there and uh yeah it's, it's crazy crazy <laughs> to think about how long i've known that young man and uh just really proud of him for managing a big old uh, west marine store here on cape cod Finally back aboard little girl. Ah, what a wonderful thing. Glad to be back. All right. See if uh, yeah, that clock is still set. Okay. All right. Okay, there's my uh, deck toweling. I was wondering if I'd left it down here, and there it is. A brand new deck toweling for the the foredeck and uh yeah okay anyway 
Here, let me turn it around. From here on out, uh, I've got one project I'm going to do first. And uh, it's one that I did back in the middle of the winter just to check uh, the skeg down below to see if there was any water getting in there. Um, and I pulled the, the three bolts on the, um, on the strap. And everything was dry as a bone. There was no reason for concern on that at all. And, uh, you know, the, I'm going to go ahead and, and re-bed that, put those all back, because, uh, I mean, at this point, uh, we're good to go on that. Uh, you know, that's been in for two seasons now, two, two, for, two different times of being in salt water. Water never got in there. It was all good and sound. Uh, the stainless steel bolts looked all great. So we're going to go ahead and get those back on this afternoon. Uh, tonight, uh, we're going to get some pizza with my mom. And I would share and I'll go pick it up and uh, have some a uh, little bit of pizza. Um, you know, it's it's a tough thing when your spouse ends up in a nursing home. It's uh, um, never things are never quite as as they ever were. I mean, they were married for over 70, 72 years uh, and uh, living in the same house and having a marvelous marriage. And boy, you know, when uh, when your spouse gets to the point where in the, they're in a nursing home, it changes everything. So. Anyway, we're enjoying being here with mom and trying to give her some company and some loving. And, and uh, anyway, enough on that topic. <laughs> Didn't mean to get personal here, but uh, uh, hell, that's, that's part of what you do as family. All right, let's get to work. Uh, let's go ahead and get those stainless steel bolts uh, cleaned up and get some new bedding in and, uh, and see if we can't get that strap bolted home. And then I won't have to think about it again because it'll be good for another year. All right, let's go get to work. Okay, so I'm, I've already done the other side. I'm getting this one all raked out. I'm trying to get all the caulking. This is Boat Life um, polysulfide caulking around uh, and behind the straps. Uh, this is my rudder hinge back here. And um, anyway, I'm trying to get this all cleaned up. I've been reaming out these holes. Uh, what you're seeing here, I'm pretty sure, because I, my, all, all three of my bolts came out completely uh, non-rusted, clean, uh, very healthy stainless steel. Uh, what I'm, what we're seeing here is the remnants of all the rust that was in there when uh, the old bolts that I took out of here were literally down to just a thread. They had rusted down to nothingness inside, inside the the skeg here of, of the keel. And uh, Anyway, uh, even though I cleaned them out initially, that rust is continuing to get on out of there. Uh, and so what I'm doing, I've got a very nice uh, slender screwdriver here, and I'm trying to clean out all the old caulking. I'm going to re-bed everything and also clean out the holes. And um, anyway, I'm just trying to give myself a break from that deck up there for right now. I'll be back on the deck tomorrow, but for right now, trying to get this, uh, get this cleaned up and put these bolts back. Uh, somewhere I've come up missing one of my bolts. I may have to run up to um, West Marine first thing in the morning and get a new bolt. But uh, anyway, that's that's where we're at with it. I'm going to go ahead and just keep at raking out the old caulking and, and uh, clearing out those holes. Well, good evening, guys. Uh, back aboard a little girl. It's nighttime, and uh, I went over and picked up my uh, brother's Dremel this evening. I uh, spent some time just sitting out on the back of his... Uh, big 28 foot motor cruiser and just enjoying a beautiful uh, summer evening here on Cape Cod. In the meantime, uh, recently I, we, when we got down here, I, never, I have not mentioned it prior to this, but I have been looking for my old uh, work hat that I use all through the beginning, all the early stages of working on this boat. And um, I got down here and I went over to the coat tree to look at look for something. I, I guess I was looking for a hat because I didn't know where my other one was. And I, I found that and it's, there it was. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So this is it. Uh, the, I have been wearing a an acorn to Arabella hat uh, that's very similar to this. Uh, but this is this is one from uh, I've forgotten what I think it was 2001 whatever uh, balloon festival up in Nukwishi, Vermont, where, where we live. And uh, some guy left it at the house, and I love it, and, and it's so comfortable, and it's, I, I just use it all the time for working on the boat. So, thankfully, I finally have my, my work hat back, and uh, anyway, just just a thought, because I'm really enjoying it. Okay, uh, tomorrow, um, 
I got to get back to work on on the uh, the rudder down here. Get those straps uh, completely finished, cleaning up all around them, rebed everything. I went out to uh, uh, West Marine this evening uh, when we went to pick up the pizza, and I got a couple of new bolts, um, and because one of them had fallen. Anyway, I got them. Everything is all brand new, and I'm going to be working on that tomorrow morning. I get that done. And then about 9 o'clock, maybe 9.30, uh, when everybody's up and around, I'll go ahead and start working with the, the, the Dremel up on the foredeck. And we're going to do some more cleaning up and, and ultimately uh, some finally get to some sanding the pan because that's got to be done uh, before we can lay any new glass down and make the repairs. And we have a number of repairs that have got to be made now uh, on the pan before we even think about putting new new coring down. All right. Well, I guess that's about it for the evening. Um, great to have everybody aboard. Um, it's been a, a good day. Um, kind of, uh, yeah, well, it's all I can say is um, when your dad's 92 and you, you have a birthday party, uh, you know, it's not like the old days. And, um, and but we, we had a good time and we, we give him some loving and and uh, he certainly know that he was being cared for and and, and um, got some presents, got some cards. Um, he loved the cake that my wife made. <laughs> he said, wolf down one piece. And then uh, my, my niece gave him another little small piece. He put, put that one down too. So that was good. Anyway. All right, guys. That's it for tonight. Uh, thanks for stopping by. And uh, tomorrow morning we'll pick it up and get to work down on that rudder. And then after that we're uh, get it, we're gonna be up on that foredeck trying to get some work done. Well, guys, uh, it's been a nice trip. I've enjoyed this Johnson, but uh, um, like I said, I've got another motor coming. Uh, my brother's bringing it over today, and uh, so I'm gonna take this and put it in the shed. But uh, anyway, I hope uh, Seal Cape Cod. It's a training program. At least what I've learned of it anyway. Uh, I hope they enjoy using this. I'm sure that they'll probably get somebody to go through it and, and get the thing right back up to tip-top condition. And, uh, yeah, been a, been a good motor, and I've enjoyed it. And that first season, like I said, it was, it was ace. I loved every bit of it. Um, it was well worth the investment. So, All right, so I'm going to go put this in the shed, and then we're going to get back to work. I'm going to get on this rudder, and then a little bit later we're going to get up on the foredeck. All right, yeah, just cleared the nozzle on this uh, on this boat life cock, and I'm hoping I get this thing start squeezing out all right. Everything in order. I'll go ahead and try to get some of this caulking down behind. I'm going to have to clean this up after it because it's a mess. There we go. Now we got it. Looks like garbage for the moment, but it'll all clean up. Oh, it'll all clean up. All right, that will do it for this side. This side, I've already I've already done a lot of cleanup and gotten stuff out from behind it. It doesn't look like it. And it's still got some crap in there. I'll get a little more out of there before I finish this, before I put this caulking in. But this is all just old, rotty caulking. Get as much cleaned out as possible. There we go. There we go. All 
All right, so let's go ahead and get some bedding in behind that and uh, get the starboard side done. Now each one of the bolts gets caulking independently in the hole and around the threads before it goes in. But I wanted to get some bedding in here behind the strap. By the way, this is all stainless steel strap, bolts, everything is stainless steel down here. And that's why it's such a shame that a long time ago somebody put in just regular common steel bolts that just rusted all the pieces and I mean like I, I, somewhere there's a video of that that I did a long time ago when I took those original bolts out oh my goodness you, you need to go back and find that that's kind of interesting to see how bad those bolts were and that's the reason we got so much rust showing up because the those literally just disintegrated inside the skag inside the 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 keel and, and all that rust just keeps flowing out of there over all this time all right let's go ahead and get some caulking on these bolts i already put the nuts and washers over on the other side so, uh, over on port so when we get ready let's see if we can see that where are we there we go get some nice caulking on this put something right into the hole Okay, it doesn't need much because the bolts themselves are going to be caught. So I'm going to cap this off. All right, there we go. Time to, time to bed them home. Okay, next. All right, I already had some caulking on the dripping down the outside of the nozzle of the caulking gun. So I just did that and I got one last one to do. This is a little short one. This is a two inch instead of the two and a half. I wanted to get two and a quarter inch bolts but I couldn't get them. Um, and I didn't feel like cutting them off. And you know what? As long as this thing is bedded and screwed home it don't matter there we go they're all all the way through now let's go back over to port and uh, just uh, put the nuts and the washers on and, and uh, thread it on down and we're good to go all right so I didn't bring any more wrenches with me, but we'll make do. So what do we got? I got a vice grips on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lock washer here. Put a nut on. There we go. Now we got it started. getting there we'll come back and tighten that one some more go ahead and put another lock washer on another nut on 
And these are brand new bolts, so they should thread home. The only one that isn't is a two inch, and they were out of the two inch at uh, West Marine. Couldn't believe it. I gotta, let me switch my let me switch the. Uh, There we go. Now we got it. Got the well, got the vice grips on the other side there. Ah! Comedy of errors here. There we go. Coming on home, baby. Coming on home. Like I said, this will all clean up. Oh, look at that cocking coming out. That's beautiful. Thing of beauty. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish the forward one. Okay, get that. Should be able to just sure would have been handier with my wrenches. <laughs> Let's see what I've got my my Honda Pilot with me, which is my normal car back home. Uh, I carry an extra set of everything in the back of my Honda Pilot. And uh, that would have been so handy here. I could just go and open the back back door seat, and, uh, back seat door, and boom, boom, it'll all be there. Everything I needed. But we're good. This is almost, almost cinched up. That is gorgeous right there. That's perfect. This needs a lot more cinching down. Both of these do. So I'm going to go ahead and reposition this. And guys, I'm going to just call it quits for night now. You know, basically you've seen what we're doing here. Everything is completely bedded. I'll clean this all up with some of that, uh, that brush cleaner stuff. Clean that all up. And this is all going to get repainted later anyway when, we, when I redo the bottom of the boat. But for right now... Uh, those uh, screws, those uh, bolts are going to all be completely bedded back home and we're good to go for another season. There we go. Well, it ain't pretty, but it's done. <sighs> Actually, I remember from last year, or yeah, two years now that I've done this. Um, because these, these two, uh, four and a half, the, the foremost and the next, you know, the mid one, are, are, uh, you have a lock washer on them. Uh, I had gone ahead with the back one and not done a lock washer, but just secured it on down. I may do that. That has a lock washer on it now, and it's really kind of right out to the end. I like the idea of it snugging right down against the strap itself. Uh, we may do that, uh, but as of right now, uh, everything is bedded very securely, and uh, the bolts are all home and bedded very securely. And uh, they ain't going nowhere. So just glad to have that little project done. I started this back in the middle of the winter just to pull them off and see what was what it's like inside inside the skeg. And there was no, uh, there was no, you know, it was all good and hard. No, nothing was deteriorating. The only rust I was getting was from the from the inside of the hole from those old bolts. Other than that, the bolts themselves were completely sound. You know, it wasn't any indication of rust on those stainless steel bolts at all. So, all right, well, we're good on that. And I'm going to go take a picture of the other side, too. And uh, we'll call it quits for the uh, 
for the rudder strap. Got that all done. One more project before we put this thing to bed because we're almost done with this trip. We're going to have to leave early in the morning. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fill my potable water, non-potable water, uh, right now and, and uh, see if my brand new faucet that I put in last fall, last winter actually, uh, is functional. I'm believing it is and I'm going to check for leaks. So we're going to do that. I've got a gallon of water here. I'm going to put it into my tank. This is not gas. This is a tank. And uh, get it situated down there and we'll give it a shot. That's it. Oh, there we go. I got a few drops on the floor, but that should about do it. Okay, we're good. Okay. Hang on. There we go. All right. Get this lid back on. I'm going to have to shut this off just for a second. Okay, let's give this a shot. This is a self-priming faucet. There is water in the line down there, so let's see if it works. There he goes. Beautiful. We're up and running for the summer. I'll probably put one more gallon in, and we are done. That's awesome. So, good news. Beautiful. That was worth the money I paid. One more thing. I just checked all the plumbing below. Now that uh, hose setup that I did, working perfectly, no leaks. I'm happy. We're good to go for the summer.